yesterday I was having a discussion with my daughter about the uh, choice she would like to make to be a vegetarian. And I have nothing against anybody being a vegetarian. Uh, not a choice I want to make. I enjoy the taste and texture of meat and uh, think that it contributes protein to a diet that definitely needs protein in it. Protein can be had from many different sources. It doesn't have to be meat as in the flesh of an animal. And a lot of people have made choices to avoid certain types of meat and you know it's all sort of confusing to me why you would choose to eat one animal not to choose another. Uh, the classic example is eating pork, not eating pork, how you interpret the Bible uh, it is an influencing factor with some people on that one. Uh, then you get to the point where some people don't want to eat fish or uh, eggs as they are unfertilized chickens, which a lot of people don't like to think about. Um, but the point is you need to get protein in your diet and it has to come from somewhere. If you're willing to uh, eat eggs, those are a great source of protein. If you're willing to eat dairy products, uh, milk, cottage cheese, there's a protein there as well. If you choose to go completely away from the animal kingdom and uh, are looking at just plants, a lot of beans have protein in them. If you think about soy beans protein, and uh, there's a lot of soy products on the market now that also contain a lot of protein. Uh, different types of beans, even if you're talking about navy beans, kidney beans, all have a degree of protein in them. So if you're going to make a choice to stay away from the meat, you might want to think about going with beans in your diet. Of course, then you have the issue that you need to buy Beano, perhaps, but that's a whole other issue. The other possibility is adding uh, protein drinks to your diet, which uh, again are going to get back to uh, soy and whey sort of protein, which are, are uh, <clears throat> plant-based proteins.